Look, Raw right now is airing here on the West Coast, but it's already aired live elsewhere. And I just want to say this. Look, I can understand people look at this as probably being one of the worst Raws under the Triple H regime. I can understand people have the right to believe it's more Vince. But I don't think so. I don't think it was Vince. You know, some people point out that when Triple H came out to make his announcement or at least welcome people to Raw and kind of acknowledge that nothing's going to really change and they're not going anywhere, that he was announced as Hall of Famer, Triple H, not Chief Content Creator, CEO. Um, when did he always have to be announced like that? A few times, I agree. You know, he has been announced like that, but most of the time it's been Hall of Famer. You know, so I, I don't get where he had to be announced as CEO tonight, you know. And here's the other thing. We also got to remember that today, uh, this morning, it was made official that a deal had been reached for Endeavor to purchase WWE, merge him into UFC. And of course, that's going to weigh on a lot of people's minds. And, you know, along with coming off of two nights of WrestleMania. It's, you know, it's a lot mentally. It's a lot mentally to, to consume, to take in. So, I'm not trying to make excuses. I'm trying to be a realist here. And being a realist, I look at the fact that when you have all that, you know, all that news coming out that, oh, we have new owners on the horizon. You know, oh, we, you know, we just came off a successful WrestleMania. Now we've got to recuperate. We've got to try to reset. You know, mentally, it takes a toll on you. It does. It takes a toll on you. And sometimes you're not up to snuff. Sometimes you are, sometimes you're not. But most of the time, for some, that's not always the case. And that's indeed true. That is indeed true. Now some, you know, did perform tonight and everything. And they performed tonight mainly because either they didn't have to work too long uh, last night or they performed on Saturday and they got a day to rest. So to me, I think what people have to understand is what someone like Triple H, you know, mentally realizing that, hey, I have new bosses, you know, that are not Vince, you know, going to be, that I'm going to have to report to in the future, you know, um, you know, hey, I just came off booking my first WrestleMania with a bit of help here and there, you got to realize that mentally it's going to take a lot off this, uh, take a lot off of him, and he needs time to rest. So, I look at the fact that, I look at the fact that come, Friday on SmackDown or maybe next Monday on Raw, we'll have a better show because, you know, Hunter and the rest of the talent will have time to rest. Yes, do they have house shows? Absolutely. But I think they kind of get a break between the house house shows after Mania. You know, sometimes. Some of them do. So, um, I expect a better show, basically, on Friday and on Monday. Because, as... You know, just like I said on Twitter, just like I said on Twitter, I said that, you know, I basically said, and, and let me look it up, let me bring it up here, you know, after my computer loads, because apparently it's doing a load update right now. Yeah, it's doing a load update or whatever. But, but let me bring this up. Let me bring this up. Okay. Let me bring this up. Okay. Oops, that's Twitter blue, don't want that. Here we go. I'm gonna bring this up. Let's see it's here. See I know it's here somewhere. Cause I I linked it. I linked it basically on a lot of places. I even tweeted it on my own, so I know it's here. 
Well, here it is. This is what I said. This was on Sean Ross Sapp's um, twi Twitter. I also put it on Just Alex, JD, and others. And even on my own, like I said. But this is what I said, and I quote, Do people not understand that after a long, and I capitalized these words to, make him, to emphasize it, long week focused around WrestleMania, that it may be wearing on Triple H and the talent? It's like if you have two to three days off, after working five to six days straight at eight to twelve hours a day. It catches up to you. Think, people, please. And what I meant by that is, you know, being someone that has worked in retail, worked in fast food, sometimes you have to work hours that are long and hard, and sometimes you have to do it back to back to back to back. And eventually when you do get those next couple of days off, which is a two days off or three days off, you know, you use one of those days to relax because all that work catches up to you. All that work that you've been doing, all those hours you've been putting in, catch up to you and all you want to do is relax. But, in the case, so in the case, I should say, of Triple H, all he probably wants to do is, is relax himself. All some of the talent wants to do is relax themselves. And guess what? Maybe that's what some of them got to do. Maybe some of them got to relax and everything, you know, so they can mentally get themselves prepared again, you know, mentally get themselves reset, because it's a lot for them, you know, going from, you know, doing house shows to doing a Raw, doing a NXT, doing, you know, the WrestleMania week events and all that, it takes, it t and then doing WrestleMania itself, it takes its toll, it takes its toll, so... You know, I'm not trying to make excuses, but I'm looking at it from a realistic standpoint. And that realistic standpoint is that basically this being Triple H's first WrestleMania, along with the Endeavor purchasing of WWE, all that weighs on people's minds and it takes a toll on them mentally. That's what it does. You know, that's what it does. So, to me, I'll say it plain and clear. I'm not making excuses for this Raw not, this Raw After Mania not being good. And I'll acknowledge that other Raw After Manias haven't been good either. You know, there's no doubt. But those have been under Vince. This is the first one under Triple H. And mentally, you know, it takes a lot out of someone that, you know, is new at doing this. You know, because it's a big step up from, an you know, doing an NXT after, let's say, an NXT TakeOver or Stand and Deliver or whatever. It's a step up, big step up. And then, like I said, you know, you cap that off with the Endeavor purchase and everything, and it's like, you know, again, I'm not making excuses for the fact that it shouldn't have been better than it should have. It had some bright spots, there's no doubt, apparently, from what I understand. It had some bright spots. But still, it's like, you know, you can't take away the fact that, you know, you know, Triple H, you know, he... He had an off night. And you can believe that or not. You can believe he had an off night. You can believe Tr Vince, his fingerprints was all over this. And he was making sure Triple H did this and that and da da da. You can believe that all, the, all you want and that's fine. That's your opinion. You can believe that Vince told Triple H Bruce is running things tonight. And maybe that's what happened. To basically say, well, I'm going to let Bruce run things for you tonight. And take a load off you a little bit. And maybe that's what happened. We don't know. You know, so you can have your opinion. But the way I look at it, from a realistic standpoint, everything that's been going on over the past week and all that, for Triple H and the talent, it takes its toll. It takes its toll, and eventually it's going to catch up to you, especially if you're, it's your first time doing something like this on a major scale, and you add in the fact that you just found out your company that you work for has been purchased by another company that's going to make you part of it and merge you with a successful um, combat sports uh, promotion in UFC. So, I look at it like, hey, I'll admit, no excuse for the Raw being as bad as it was, but again, I think he had an off night because he's mentally drained and all that, along with some of the other talent that are physically and mentally drained too from everything going on. But I believe, I believe things will get better come Friday and next Monday. Just got to give him time to mentally and physically reset. But that's just my opinion, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are. Talk to you later.